What's up guys, in today's video, we have a 2005 Malibu Monsoon behind us. We're gonna do a full restoration on the exterior. Let's go. And like always guys, if you get any value out of today's video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell notification so that every time we make a video, it will pop up. And like always, all of the products that we use in today's video will be in the description section down below. If you click those links and purchase those products, we appreciate you guys for that. If you want to learn more about boat detailing, go in the description section down below. You can either join us here in our shop in Redding, California for a hands-on training experience, or we have online experiences available for you guys as well. So as you saw, this boat has some severe oxidation. It has some crazy holograms and scratches. The owner of this boat actually brought it to us from about three hours away. He found us on YouTube watching our tutorial videos. We're detailing it up for him. It's been a little neglected for the last couple years. In this particular video, we're going to go over wet sanding, compounding, ceramic coating, and at the end of the video, we have our before and after, so stick around. First, let's go ahead and look at the boat so you can see exactly what we are going to be doing in today's video, and then we're going to hop right to the process. Let's go. It's not crazy oxidized, but it does have some medium oxidation, but really the crazy part is all of these deep holograms and scratches. You can see them swirling around. These scratches come from a few things. Either one, improper buffing from whoever detailed it last, and it can come from just using your boat. So you can see these crazy scratches. Those are what are called swirls and holograms. The difference between the two, the swirls are typically the ones that swirl around the light. Those come from your boat cover. It can come from improper washing. It can come from pretty much anything that can actually be abrasive or scratch the surface. The holograms that we're seeing are actually from the buffer. So whoever detailed this boat last, it actually came from their buffing machine. Up here on the tow rail, we are going to be removing all of these deep scratches. The customer is trying to restore the boat. He's paying us to get the exterior perfected and then he's going to actually redo the interior and get the carpet replaced. So we're not really doing much on the interior. We're just getting the exterior fixed for him. It is nice and oxidized. So this is where we're gonna be doing a lot of our wet sanding in the back here to get this oxidation out right here on the hull the owner must have taken the decals off where you can see it say malibu what we want to do is blend this in so we are going to have to do some wet sanding to blend in where the decals were so this is a big common issue that a lot of people have is they take their decals off and they go oh no how can i get it to blend in so in this video we're going to teach you how to wet sand these in and blend them in there's some extreme swirls and scratches in this gel coat and it's relatively faded on the side so we're going to be giving the back a wet sand and the entire hull a complete wet sand to remove all of these swirls scratches and a deep oxidation in the blue gel coat all right guys we're going to start off with the washing process the first thing we're going to do is pull this boat out it is a beautiful day to detail a boat <laughs> middle of winter in the mountains but we got a shop so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the boat out do our wash and prep pull it back in and get the sanding let's go we're gonna start off with a rinse this rinse is gonna just knock off any loose dirt that may be on the surface of the boat before we get to scrubbing we have shine supply shift soap in our foam cannon we're gonna spray the foam cannon down take our detail brushes and our lambs will mitt to wash the surface Once we have the surface washed, we're gonna go ahead and spray Shine Supply Smooth Move on the entire exterior of the gel coat and the hull. This is going to remove the scum line and any fallout that may be on the exterior of the boat. You can think of this as basically a chemical clay bar for your boat. Alrighty guys, we're gonna go ahead and start our wet sand. We're always gonna start from the back, work our way forward, and we start from top down. So we're gonna do the gunnel here and the rub rail down. We're going to do a two-step wet sand. We're gonna be using Merca Abra Lawns. We're doing 1,000 grit and 2,000 grit. So we're gonna first go over it with the 1,000 grit, scuff it all up. We're going to be removing the oxidation that's particularly on the back and that heavy fading that's on the side and those really deep scratches. We're just gonna wet sand them out because we want to get this thing looking perfect practically. 
All right, guys, we're going to do our wet sanding with Merca Aberlon. We have the speed setting on four. I am using the MacShine M8S V2 dual action polisher for this. This is a great machine for wet sanding. When you're wet sanding the tow rail, just do side to side motions. I typically like to do three passes per section. On the hull, we're going to do side to side, up, down, side to side pattern, just like you would with polishing. We're going to do 1000 grit and 2000 grit on the wet sand. Alright guys, so I got about 8 feet and that's what I would recommend. What you don't want to do is just run down the entire hull before drying each section. So I would recommend doing about 5 to 8 feet, you know, roughly 5 to 8 feet and then wipe it and dry it and then check for consistency in the scratches. It is a beautiful, consistent scuff. I don't see any oxidation. I don't see any clouds and I don't see that name. Remember that th right here was where Malibu was. We have completely sanded out the Malibu word. So you wanna look for a nice, even, consistent scuff. Like I said, what you don't wanna do is get on one sanding pad, run down the whole boat and just to realize that over here cut really good and then your sanding disc stopped working about here. So work in sections, dry it off, make sure every section is perfect before you move on and then move on to your next sections. Let's go. We just finished up our sanding. As you can see, our surface is a perfect, nice, even scuff. After your sanding, always, always, always dry the boat off. It's still a little damp. The air is super wet today. But I always like to dry the boat and make sure that I just have a perfect, even, consistent scuff. If you actually look at the boat on an angle, it actually looks glossy, but it is nice and scratched. So we got all the oxidation and that fading out. We definitely don't want to see any white clouds coming back through. If you see any white clouds, like oxidation and that fading, bleeding back through, go over those areas get down on an angle and just make sure that you have a nice even consistent scuff then we can move to our rotary and buffing steps let's go all right our first correction step is going to be shine supply heavy cut with the white heavy cut oil pad on the rotary machine our first pass is going to be 600 rpms our second pass is going to be 900 rpms and our third pass is going to be around 1500 rpm When you're running this wool and rotary machine, we typically do side to side, up down, side to side polishing pattern on the rotary and the wool. Next we have our medium cut. This is Shine Supply Chop Top on the yellow medium cut wool pad. This is basically going to be just removing the deep heavy scratches that, that the Shine Supply heavy cut put in the surface. When you're doing the Shine Supply Chop Top with the yellow wool, it's like turning the lights on. You can really see the gloss come out. pass is going to be at 900 rpms our second is going to be at 1500 rpms and our third pass is going to be around 15 to 1800 rpms So for our polishing step, we're going to be using the Wake Up with the Orange Force Rotation Lake Country Foam Pad on the Rupes Millie. And we're just going to do our final polish to remove that light, 
hazing. This is going to basically give us a perfect finish. If you don't want to do a ceramic coating, that's okay. You can polish this in and this is going to be your base layer of protection. And then you're just gonna follow up with the punch it like we're gonna do at the end. If you just do the wake up with the punch it like we're gonna do at the end, you are going to get a solid four to six months out of this as far as a protection. If you do this with the ceramic coating plus the punch it that we're gonna be actually doing in this video, you're gonna get a solid 12 months, 18 or 24 months if it's stored indoors and maintained properly. This stuff can work as a polish to remove that final haze at the very end and it can also be your protective layer let's go shine supply wake up is a great sio2 polish and protect this is going to polish out the holograms that the chop top put in the surface and it's going to be our base layer of protection this shine supply wake up is a phenomenal cleaner wax that does not suck quite frankly go ahead polish it in side to side up down side to side pattern with the lake country orange force rotation foam pad using the rupes milli Once we're done polishing, we're gonna pull our boat back out and give it a nice wash. This is going to clean off all of the compound dust and debris from our correction steps. Make sure that you blast away all of the compound off of the trailer and out of the cracks and crevices of the boat. Then we're gonna wash the entire boat with Shine Supply Shift Soap again, just to give us a nice clean surface before we put on our protection. Once we're done washing, we're gonna dry the boat with our microfiber drying towels. All right guys, we just went ahead and pulled our boat back in. We dried it off after we washed it and now it is ready for our ceramic coating. So when we were drying it, we did the inside and got the inside kind of washed out. Your surface should be extremely glossy with no swirls, oxidation, or water spots. After you wash it, make sure there's no water spots before we do the ceramic coating. We're gonna use Beadlock Pro Marine Ceramic by Shine Supply to do the exterior of this boat. You can easily get about 18 to 24 months out of this ceramic coating on the freshwater boats if they're stored and maintained properly saltwater guys will get a solid year out of this coating if it's stored outdoors we're going to put this on the exterior of our boat to give us the optimal amount of protection all right let's go ahead and apply our ceramic coating you're going to need a bottle of coating an applicator pad just like this one right here and you're going to need some rubber gloves to be able to do the coating let's go we have Shine Supply Beadlock Pro Marine. This is a phenomenal ceramic coating that's super easy to use. It's a one layer application, so you only need one coat, thank God. You're going to add a nice thin layer to the surface. We typically break it up into about five foot sections. You're gonna put a nice even coat of ceramic on the surface. Let it sit for roughly 30 seconds to two minutes, depending on the flash time. And then you're gonna take your three microfiber rags and level it off. This ceramic coating is going to give you phenomenal protection against UV damage, oxidation, and fading. It's going to make your boat way easier to keep clean.
ceramic coating is cured. We let it sit for about two and a half hours. It is nice and cured. So we're gonna do the very last step of the detail process and that's going to be applying punch it. We're gonna spray it on the rag and directly onto the boat, wipe it in, let it sit for about 15 minutes and then take a fresh microfiber rag and wipe off the residue. Punch it is also going to be the product that you are going to use to maintain your ceramic coating from here on out. What I recommend is once at the beginning of the season, once at the end of the boating season and a few times in between, just reapply punch it maybe two or three times a year and it's going to keep your protection protected and keeping that ceramic coating lasting longer. It only takes you about 10 minutes to apply it to your whole boat. It's a super simple process. Let's go in ahead and apply punch it. Let's go. We're just gonna spray the punch it directly onto the surface, take a microfiber rag, level it in. We're gonna let it sit and cure for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna come back with two fresh microfiber towels to wipe off the excess. Punch it is going to revitalize the hydrophobic effect, which is basically the water beads, and it's going to protect your surface from UV damage on top of the ceramic coating or boat wax. Let's go ahead and check out the before and after. Let's go. Alrighty guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking around. In this process, on this 22 foot boat, we used two white wool pads, we used two yellow wool pads, we used two orange foam pads. We only used about a quarter of the bottle of the wake up. We barely used any of the punch it, so one bottle of punch it will last you many, many times. When it came to the ceramic coating, we only used about half of the bottle to do the entire exterior of the boat. In this boat, we only coated the exterior. Uh, we didn't do the glass, we didn't do the interior, and we didn't do the metal. We just did the exterior gel coat, and we used about 50 milliliters. The ceramic coating, when you buy the ceramic coating, and it is a 100 mil bottle, but we used only about 50. If you have a 22 foot boat, one bottle of ceramic will do it. Alrighty, so we got the inside washed, we're letting our carpets dry, and we got the exterior looking great. This boat is officially done. The customer is gonna come pick it up this weekend. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. If you wanna purchase any of the products that we talked about in today's video, you can do it in the description section down below and if you're interested in either online or personal hands-on training with me here in Redding, California, you can go into the description section down below, click those links and you can find all the info there. All right guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell notification so that every time we make a video, it will pop up and we'll see you guys on our next video. Let's go.